Hello viewers, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to Life Off-Road. This week we're at another off-road event capturing all of the scenes, the action and the characters. I hope you enjoy it. Hello viewers and welcome to round two of the ARB Australian Off-Road Racing Series. This is the ARB Sunraiser 400. Now rain has played a major role in the developments this weekend. We're looking forward to a big weekend of off-road racing. Jason, what's the name of the event and whereabouts are we? Yeah, so we're out at Kira Station, 2017 ARV Sunraysia 400. Approximately 50 kilometres west of Madura, just off the Sturt Highway. The Robinson family has kindly donated their property out here for us to run on, which we're very appreciative of. Tell us a little bit about the club behind this event, please. We're made up of uh, over 50 members and we've all banded together for this weekend to put all the track together, put the event together. So far we're happy with where we're at. The weather's turned it on for us, so we're really looking forward to seeing what the weekend brings. And what's happened with the weather during the week? Well, we were sort of thinking going to have a dry and dusty event, but as we know, the rain's sort of come in the last couple of days, really turned it on for us. Awesome racing conditions. And how's that caused changes to the format of the event? There is some boggy spots there, so we've trimmed it down to a 65 kilometre course. We're going to do six laps of that. It's going to be excellent. How much planning and effort has gone into this event? It's nearly a 12 month thing, basically once the event's done we start planning again and probably the last two months it's been pretty full on. been numerous working bees out here, all the members have got together, hopefully everyone appreciates what we've put on for the weekend. And in summing it all up, what are we going to see over the weekend? We're going to see thrills and spills, we're going to see it all, we've got a high quality field, dust is going to be limited, it's going to be awesome. Well, the weather has certainly been the major factor deciding what will happen over the weekend so far. And as you can see behind me, with those black clouds looming, it still may be the big factor over the weekend. Well, this is off-road racing. We've got 72 teams on paper ready to take on the Sunraysia 400. We'll see how the weekend goes. Conditions here are slightly different to the last event. How different do you think your strategy will be? We will do pretty well because we're not very heavy. So in the slippery parts and the wet stuff, we uh, will be pretty quick. Take it a little bit easier because we didn't expect the rain. We didn't know it was going to be so wet. I don't think it'll change a lot all the same. Once you get out on that start line, it's foot to the floor and away you go. Go as hard as you can. Some sensational drivers here and no sitting around changing strategies. Go as hard as you can for as long as you can. We'll just aim for that finish line. I think that's the biggest challenge. How are the conditions out there? Pretty slippery, but sensational. Absolutely sensational. It's a driver's prologue. As soon as you hit the mud, you just ice skate. But good fun, though. Definitely a few wet spots out the track, a few puddles and the harder ground, but where it's sandy, the rain's really soaked in, and I think it's a little bit wet at the moment, but it should make for great weekends racing. A few wet spots at the moment, but by after prologue it should be really good. We 
shorten the track down from 100 kilometres to 65 kilometres. We will now do six laps, which will give them 390k, 10k short of the original 400 kilometres. Those six laps will all be run on Sunday of the event. We'll run prologue and the shootout on Saturday, and I think the conditions here will be nearly perfect. How does the format change affect you with all the racing on the Sunday? Probably makes it a little bit more hectic tomorrow. It would be a big day and pressure's off today, I guess, because it's not too much going on today, although we've got the prologue. That's quite all right, it's still only 400 kilometres. And I think that you still got service breaks in between, so you're not out there for a long time. The laps are only 65 k's long. You know, they've changed the format over a couple of times, which has been really good. It's nice to try something different. Tomorrow, you know, it's, it's more K, so you just got to start off a little bit more careful, probably, but I don't think it'll change a lot. Why do you do it? Oh, because we love it. It's just awesome fun. It's just great. It's just something your whole family does. Your kids come to every race and they get involved. And I was fortunate enough recently to have my daughter navigate for the first time. Family that plays together stays together, the old saying. And we've done that now for 20 or 30 years and I did it with my dad. I think it's, it's a bit of a family sport that I got pulled into. And I think it's the social side of it. You know, we all pack up, we all go away. Mum does all the food for us and everything. Well, it's certainly been a muddy day of racing here at the ARB Sunraysia 400. Stay tuned though, after the break, we're back with six big laps as the racing continues. Ladies and gents, your top 10 shootout winners for today for the 2017 ARB Sunraysia 400. Welcome back to Life Off-Road and our coverage of the ARB Sunraysia 400. Competitors have got six laps of the 65 kilometer course under perfect racing conditions. It's gonna be a big day of off-road action. Let's get into it. We're here at Kira Station in Victoria, near Mildura. The area has had a large amount of torrential rain over the past couple of days and has caused the organisers here a little bit of grief. We've had to rejig things, change the format around to get some distance in the event. The six laps will be run in the format of two laps, a 45 minute service break, straight back out, two more laps, come back in for another 45 minute service break, back out for the final two laps. It's the first time a lot of the ARB competitors have run here at Mildura. Previously was run as a 600 kilometre event. This year it's back to a 400 kilometre event to fit in with the ARB series. The track here is made up of a sandy base. There's some grey clay around which when it gets damp, grey clay gets very, very slippery. Previous years it's been very dry and dusty. But now with the recent rain, the track conditions are nearly perfect. Although the track will chop up, I imagine we'll have dust here by lap three. The venue here at Kira Station is a really good venue. The Sunraysia Motorsport Club has been able to construct a spectacle for the spectators to witness the extremes of off-road racing. You can see the start-finish line here. The competitors come back in around about the halfway mark of the course and then go back out from the start-finish area. They come back into what we call whoops, which really highlights the capabilities of the suspension of the off-road vehicles. Also here within the arena, there's a couple of large jumps, which gives them plenty of air, plenty of excitement for the spectators here along the fence line. We're on a bit of a rise as well that we can see out across the property and see most of the track in the distance. You can see the lights of the cars. Second round of the 2017 ARB Off-Road Racing Series. Great to have Mildura on board. 
Well, this is our fifth year. We've gone from four rounds to six for 2017. Exciting. We've got about a five to six week gap between all six rounds spread across Australia. The support from the competitors from all over Australia are endorsing what's taken place. A great series. Tell us how the conditions have changed today. They're horrible. First couple of laps were quite smooth and sticky. You would get halfway through a corner, you would hit a wet patch and just slide out. Now it's very grippy out there. The rough stuff has gotten really rough. Dried out drastically after the first lap. Now it's dusty and drivey. It's good. It's starting to dust up now. Everyone got a pretty good run this morning and sorted out all their positions. The only issue is I guess the faster cars are now coming up through the slower cars, but look, everyone's pretty good out there and everyone's just having a good time now. It's very rough at the moment. No water left in the puddles at all pretty much. It's just slop and dust. The old man's foot's starting to get a bit heavier, so I'm just holding on, mate. Tyres are another critical choice for keeping these vehicles on the tracks when they're racing. We're seeing more and more of these Mickey Thompsons popping up and it's interesting to know that this is a standard tyre that you can buy off the shelf for your four wheel drive. To find out more, let's speak to our friends at Mickey Thompson. We're here with Jeff Newick from Mickey Thompson Tyres. Now over the years we've seen quite an interest in the Mickey Thompson product across motorsport, especially with the off-road races, but now with the P3 here we've seen a massive shift from all sorts of brands across to the Mickey Thompson MTZ P3. Why is that? Basically it's an affordable tyre off the shelf. It's not a race spec tyre. It does the job and look, it's, the strength just proves race after race. The reports we're getting back from competitors is the performance is outstanding, the braking, the grip, the handling. Yeah, they're getting more traction out of the corners, they're getting more lateral grip, and the braking, they're actually braking a lot later than they do on other product. People often ask why companies sponsor motorsport, but you've got a product here that's suited perfectly to the four-wheel drive recreational market as well as the off-road races. Yeah, it's basically, you know, Mickey Thompson's always been renowned to making a tough product, and this just proves it. You can buy a tyre off the shelf, for your Land Cruiser, your Patrol, your Pajero. You can also buy one off the shelf and put one in one of these, you know, 900 horsepower vehicles and it lasts till the end of the day. So that just proves how tough the tyres really are. Jeff, great to have you out here and thanks again for Mickey Thompson supporting this series. We'll see you over the weekend. Thank you very much, Simon. We're now well into the final throws of the ARB Sunraysia 400. The weather has held all weekend. The track has dried out considerably and the competitors have now cut through and they're facing very dusty conditions. Let's see how the final two laps go. Murray, can you give us a quick update please? Yes, things are going fine at the moment here when the leaders have got one lap to go. We've got Shannon Wrench in front, Chris Wilson in second, and Mark Burris in third. And Shannon's opened up a considerable lead. He's pulled a massive lead out on the rest of the field. Shannon is just a consummate competitor and fantastic driver. That's what the data is showing, that his lap time is getting quicker each lap. The track has chopped up. It was damp initially this morning and a lot of the terrain has been pushed out now and we're getting a little bit of dust coming up now. The sun's out, it's a beautiful day here. We've got one more lap to go. Anything can happen and anything usually does happen. It's been a wonderful weekend for us. I think the prologue and top 10 shootout went extremely well. 
conditions were out there were pretty rough today. I think with the moisture in the track and obviously the horsepower and so forth, they just dug big holes out there. This is a great event. I came here last year when it wasn't part of the series and really liked it. Great property, great people. It's bringing more spectators in. It's got more coverage, so that's just absolutely wonderful for us. Really think that it's just a, a great event to be involved in the series. Shannon Ian, congratulations. Talk us through your day of racing. We started off on position one this morning and uh, we started the weekend. After the rain we had on Thursday, made the conditions you know, pretty tough on the first lap or two. After that, no, the, the track dried out really well and it you know, made for a great today's race, and especially when we had to come around and pass on the lap cars, it's definitely made it easy with the less dust hanging around. We got stuck behind our car for a little bit and then we, had to, we went off the track and must have picked something up and had a flat, which was a bit frustrating at the time. Really glad to get it changed and get back in here and first. We thought we might throw it away after that, but no, really happy. Congratulations, guys. Look forward to seeing you at the next event. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Well done, guys. Today was a huge success. We had great conditions out there today and the competitors definitely put on a show for us, which was great to see. We had a high amount of spectators come through the gate and I definitely think they got their value for money. Events like this don't just happen overnight. I would like to thank all the sponsors, all the volunteer members, all the members that have come from other clubs to help us out. We really appreciate it. As you can see when you look around, there has been a lot of work going into it. So yeah, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who has helped make the 2017 ARB Sunraiser 400 what it is. It's been very successful and going forward we plan on to keep evolving the event. The series sponsors are ARB. Mickey Thompson Tyres, PWR Performance Products and Red Arc Electronics and without them we can't put this series together.